In this video, I'm applying underglazes to wet clay. First, I drew an Acadian style home into the clay before allowing it to dry to leather hard. Leather hard means the clay can still be worked upon to a certain degree. Specifically, it can be glazed using underglazes. It's also really nice to draw into the surface of leather hard clay and it can be handled without deformation. I am using Mako Stroke and Coat underglazes in a variety of colors. I chose to create an Acadian style home for this project because I live in South Louisiana where Acadians lived. I am familiar with the architectural charm and thought others would relate. Because I am making this piece as an example to show my students, it is simplified. I wanted this piece to be reminiscent of a small cabin in a swamp. One of the most obvious features of an Acadian home is a high-pitched and sloping tin roof. I've seen shingles on Acadian homes, but there's nothing like hearing rainfall upon a tin roof. And so I gave my little cabin a tin roof. Porches with railings are also common to this type of home, especially if they are raised off the ground. Many homes in the south are on raised elevations to escape flood water. Seasonal flooding is very common in the south. Um, I grew up in a shotgun style house that sat on cinder blocks, but we never flooded. Things would get stuck under our house like basketballs or the occasional shoe. Animals would also crawl under our house to escape the heat. I never had a possum living under my home or porch. I've seen them around and all over. Our dog left a dead one on our back porch one night, which to our dismay. They are beneficial to our ecosystem in the South. Um, I grew up learning to respect nature and all animals. Once my dad brought home baby armadillos and we rehabbed them until they were ready to be released. I love the possum here because it reminds me of living in Louisiana. If you like this content, comment, like, and subscribe. You can find more of my pottery on my website, www.foin.art.